I have a question. It might, up, it might pop up later. The uh, the Rath family is uh, becoming something of a sci-fi uh, legacy. Uh, so. Will we see more of your brother potentially in season four being human? And I don't know. Would you ever want to cross over the other way to uh, the finds? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can say it, but I will. I think we do see our brother again um, in season four. And um, I absolutely want to cross over to the finds. Yeah. In fact, I sort of pestered the writers last night about it. They were just like, okay, well, maybe you could be like an Iraqi alien, or I was like, no, I want to be cast in this. Yeah. I want, like, obviously, I want to be the same race as my brother. I mean, like, I don't know. we should all put in some good words about it. But I really want to. <laughs> Talking the right crowd for it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I want to ask you, since I found out that certain people aren't really managing their own Twitter and Facebook. Is that really you on Twitter and Facebook? Um, I don't have a Facebook, mm -hmm. but that's my Twitter. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm very present. And I know it gets really hard to tweet when we're working so much. And then sometimes I go through little periods where I'm like, oh, this is so not interesting at all. But definitely me. And I really love tweeting and I love... I read everybody's comments every single day. Because it's like finding out there's no Santa Claus when they say it's not a That's crazy. I would never do that. <laughs> so your character left us in kind of a precarious place when um, you got dragged down to, we're assuming, the same place you were before. What can you tell us about where we're going to see your character coming in the next season? Um, well, so the season starts off three months after we, we leave it in season three. And so, as you know, I've been sucked down the death spot with Donna. So that's where I start off. And really the place that I'm in is I have absorbed quite a bit of Donna's power. So I'm very different now, and I sort of try to harness and use the power that I have to get myself out of it. Are, are you still eating constantly? Um, no, because I'm a ghost again. So unfortunately, I won't be eating any more live animals. <laughs> What do you like playing more, Live Sally or Dead Sally? Um, I like both. I, I love like the magic that comes from Dead Sally, but I have to say I really loved playing her live. I thought we got to see more of a, a happy side of her and saw really what she was like when she was an actual person and you know seeing her characteristics come through in that way was really interesting for me. And. Yeah, it was just fun to be a zombie. It was fun to play something different. When I died in season in season three, when I finally died again and became a ghost, it was really hard for me personally because I was like, I found myself really frustrated. Like I'm sitting there on set and it's like, oh, well, I'm talking at nobody again and people are ignoring me and I like can't touch this and I have to sit on this concrete thing and like I was really sort of in a weird place and, and then I realized that it was just, I was just like feeling the frustration of the character so it kind of works like you know when you play a character for four years now you really become a huge part of it so I really like go through it with her. Segwaying from the theme that you have worked on the show for four years, aside from the amazing writers on staff, what do you feel makes the character question? Well, really what it is is I find they come up each year with uh, some of the most incredible things for me to do, and me specifically because the world that Sally lives in, this ghost magic world, is, there, there weren't really any genre rules established for that before this show, so we have so much freedom to create. And so I find that, you know, the writers always write me things that are so beyond what I ever imagined and uh, it just really allows me to use my imagination and explore. And I've learned so much about myself and this character. It's been a lot of fun and it always feels fresh. And then that, the thing for last season was all about you guys finally getting everything that you wanted, but you guys still weren't happy. Are we going to see some happiness and smiles this season? <laughs> I mean, you are, but here's the thing: is like these. I don't know if these characters will ever be happy because what they're looking for is like what they 
their idea of happiness, which was, which was something that they created as living human beings. But they're so past what that ever was now. You know, happiness isn't defined by the same things that it was when they were alive. And they're still sort of after that that original idea of what it was. So, and it's, so, I don't think it's possible. So is there just some point where you are after like this girl, you guys are like, you Yeah. I mean, the happiness comes from the four of them being together, you know? And it comes from the simpler things. But I don't, I think that the idea of what they had originally was Never, I don't think we will ever attain that. It's sad, it's very tragic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.